Hello friends, welcome to Set to A Squeaks. This video is the third part of our periodicals and journal series and guys hope you are able to follow our videos consistently. And if you have missed out the last two videos, please do watch it. So let us start. The London Magazine. It's a publication of arts, literature and miscellaneous interest. Its publishing writers include William Wordsworth, William S. Burroughs, Winston Churchill and John Keats. It's a bi-monthly magazine. It was founded by Isaac Kimber in 1732 and ran for 53 years under its closure in 1785. It had a political opposition and rivalry to the Tory-based Gentleman's Magazine. From 1755 to 1783, Henry Mayo edited this magazine. Next one is the American Review. It's a literary journal published from 1967 to 1977 under editor Ted Soltroff. It was initially called as the New American Review, which was published and distributed as a paperback book by the New American Library. And it continued publication at Simon & Chester, but shortened its name to American Review when it moved to Bantam Books in 1973. American Review printed traditional and experimental fiction, poetry and non-fiction essays and journalism. Next one is the Partisan Review. Partisan Review is a small circulation quarterly, little magazine that deals with literature, politics and cultural commentary published in the New York City. The magazine was launched in 1934 by the Communist Party, USA affiliated John Reed Club of New York and was initially part of the Communist political orbit. The publication was published and edited by two members of the New York Club that is Philip Rav and William Phillips. Then comes the Southern Review. It's a quarterly literary magazine that was established by Robert Penn Warren in 1935 at the behest of Charles W. Pipkin and funded by Hugh Long as a part of his investment in Louisiana State University. It publishes fiction, poetry, critical essays and excerpts from novels in progress by established and emerging writers and includes reproduction of visual arts. It was stopped in 1942 and restarted in 1965. Next one is the Kenyan Review. It's a literary magazine based in Gambier, Ohio. The review was founded in 1939 by John Crow Ransom, who is a critic and professor of English at Kenyan College, who served as its editor until 1959. Both these magazines, that is Other Review and Kenyan Review, strongly associated themselves with the New Criticism, which was a formalist movement in literary theory that dominated American literary criticism in the middle decades of the 20th century. Next one is the Arizona Quarterly, a journal of American literature, culture and theory. It's a peer-reviewed academic literary journal created at the University of Arizona in 1945. It was published four times per year and its self-proclaimed mission is to subject American literature, culture and theory to debate, argument, interpretation, contestation via critical readings of primary text. Most issues of the Quarterly consist of seven articles and special issues are rarely published. As of 2020, the editor is Linda Swinger. During the early years of Arizona Quarterly, through 1958, there was no standalone historical journal in the state leaving the Quarterly to publish a number of historical articles. Swinger served as one of the two associate editors under former Quarterly editor Edgar A. Dryden. Next journal is the Hudson Review. It's a quarterly journal of literature and art started in 1948 in U.S., founded in New York by William Arrow Smith, Joseph Derrick Bennett and George Frederick Morgan. The first issue was introduced in the spring of 1948. Next one is the Monthly Review. The Monthly Review, established in 1949, is an independent socialist magazine published monthly in New York City. The publication is the longest continuously published socialist magazine in the United States. The magazine's ideology and readership closely parallel that of the independent Marxist weekly newspaper, The National Guardian, which was established in 1948. Next one is the American Quarterly. It's an academic journal and the official publication of the American Studies Association. The journal covers topics of both domestic and international concern in the United States and is considered as a leading resource in the field of American studies. The current editor-in-chief is Mary Yoshihara. The journal is published quarterly by the John Hopkins University Press. It has been promoting digital research and teaching. American Quarterly has been the prominent guide to American studies since 1949. With a broad humanistic understanding of American culture, the journal encourages cross-disciplinary work. In addition, it publishes forums, exhibition and book reviews and short time timely think pieces. Next one is the screen. It's an academic journal of film and television studies based at the University of Glasgow and published by Oxford University Press. 
It was originated in the Society of Film Teachers Journal, the Film Teacher in 1952. Soon after, the society was renamed as, a, as the Society for Education in Film and Television and its journal changed its name to Screen Education in 1960. Screen Education was renamed to Screen in 1969 although a separate journal titled Screen Education was also published. During the 1970s, Screen was particularly influential in the nascent field of film studies. It published many articles that have become standards in the field including Laura Mulvey's seminal work Visual Pleasure and Narrative Cinema. It is still highly regarded in academic circles. Screen Theory, a Marxist psychoanalytic film theory that came to prominence in Britain in the early 1970s took its name from Screen. Next one is the Daedalus. It's an academic journal founded in 1955 as a replacement for the proceedings of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences, the volume and numbering system of which it continues. In 1958, it began quarterly publication as the Journal of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. The journal is published by MIT Press on behalf of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. Each issue addresses a theme with essays on the arts, sciences and humanities. Special features include fiction, poetry and a note section. Its publication is by invitation only. The journal is indexed in Scopus and the Social Sciences Citation Index among others. Next one is the Victorian Studies. It's a quarterly peer-reviewed academic journal published by Indiana University Press. It covers research on 19th century Britain during the reign of Queen Victoria. It publishes essays, forums and reviews on a variety of topics concerning Victorianism including literature, social and political history, philosophy, fine arts, science, economics and law. It is the official journal of the North American Victorian Studies Association. It was established in 1956 at Indiana University by Philip Appleman, William A. Madden and, Will and Michael Wolfe. The journal is hosted by the university's Victorian Studies program in conjunction with the English department. Next one is the SCL, Studies in Canadian Literature or Etudes and Literature Canadian. It's a bilingual journal of peer-reviewed literary criticism published out of the University of New Brunswick. It publishes scholarly and critical articles written by Canadian and international scholars on all topics and periods of Canadian literature. The journal publishes 24 essays per year and issues occasionally close with interviews with notable Canadian authors. Like other Canadian literary journals, SCL or ELC alternates between general and special issues. Special topics have included the business of publishing in Canada. More recently, editors have produced issues on indigeneity across linguistic divides, Atlantic Canadian literature, poetics and public culture in Canada, adolescence in Canadian literature, South Asian Canadian literature and literary ecologies. Next one is the critical quarterly. It's a peer-reviewed academic journal in the humanities published by Willie. The editor-in-chief is Colin McCabe. The journal notably published the Black Papers on Education starting in 1969. It was established in 1958 by its first editor, Brian Cox and A. E. Dyson. Cox's intellectual formation was in the Department of English Literature at the University of Cambridge, then dominated by the figure of F. R. Lewis. The latter's legacy was a notable feature of Critical Quarterly's early years when it published work by a new generation of scholars including Raymond Williams, David Lodge and Frank Kermode. In some respects, the journal sought to modify Lewis's project. In particular, Cox and Dyson felt that Lewis and his acolytes tended unfairly to ignore contemporary writing partly because of their unshakable belief in the myth of a culture in decline. Next one is the Combative Literature. It's an academic journal in the field of comparative literature. It publishes essays ranging across the traditions of Africa, Asia, Europe and North and South America. Its articles also explore movements, themes, forms, the history of ideas, relations between authors and the foundations of literary and cultural criticism and theory. It was published in 1963 at the University of Maryland at College Park by the founding editors Alfred Owen Aldrich and Melvin J. Friedman. The first issue, published in 1963, was a special advance issue. It was devoted entirely to the proceedings of the first triennial meeting of the American Comparative Literature Association. The regular issues began to be published the next year in 1964 with four issues each year. The journal is published quarterly. One volume containing the four quarterly issues is published annually. 
वन ऑफ द रेगुलर इश्यूज कंसर्न ईस्ट वेस्ट लिटररी एंड कल्चरल रिलेशन एंड इज एडिटेड इन कंजंक्शन विद मेम्बर्स ऑफ द कॉलेज ऑफ इंटरनेशनल रिलेशन एट निहन यूनिवर्सिटी लोकेटेड इन मिशिमा जपान नेक्स्ट वन इज द ऑस्ट्रेलियन लिटररी स्टडी इट इज अ फुल्ली रेफर्ड जर्नल डिवॉर्टेड टू द क्रिटिसिजम एंड स्कॉलरशिप ऑफ ऑस्ट्रेलियन लिटरेचर It was founded in 1963 by Laurie Hergenhan, now emeritus professor of the University of Queensland. Next one is the Salma Gandhi. It's a US quarterly periodical featuring cultural criticism, fiction and poetry along with transcripts of symposia and interviews with prominent writers and intellectuals. Susan Sontag, a long-time friend of the publication, referred to it as simply my favorite little magazine. In the book the in the book wars James Atlas writes that Selma Gandhi is perhaps the country's leading journal of intellectual opinion. Next one is Arithusa. It's an academic journal established in 1967. It covers the field of classics using an interdisciplinary approach incorporating contemporary theoretical perspectives and more traditional approaches to literary and material evidence. It frequently features issues focused on a theme related to the classical world. The current editor in chief of the journal is Martha Malamud. The journal is named for the mythical nymph Arithusa and published 3 times each year in January, May and September by the John Hopkins University Press. Next one is Mosaic, a journal of interdisciplinary study of literature. It was founded in 1967, the year of Canada centennial. Mosaic is an interdisciplinary journal devoted to publishing the very best critical work in literature and theory. The journal brings insights from a wide variety of disciplines to bear on literary texts, cultural climates, topical issues, divergent art forms and modes of creative activity. It combines rigorous scholarship with cutting-edge exploration of theory and literary criticism. It publishes contributions from scholars around the world and it distributes to 34 countries. In North America, Mosaic is read by subscribers in almost every state and province. It can be found in over 500 of the world's major university and college libraries. Next one is Novel, a forum on fiction. It's a tri-annual peer-reviewed academic journal published by Duke University Press. The editor-in-chief is Nancy Armstrong. It is the official journal of the Society for Novel Studies. The journal was established in 1967 and publishes essays concerned with the novel's role in engaging and shaping the world. Yes. So guys let us stop here and moving on to the previous year question paper discussion this question is taken from the 2016 year question paper two among the following critical journals became strongly associated with new criticism four options are there partisan review southern review kenny review and hudson review the right combination according to the code is guys can you guess Yes, it's option C, Southern Review and Kenyan Review. Next question is, which of the following journals deals with the analysis of only theoretical concepts? Four options are there: one, Granta; two, Manoa; three, Boundary; two, four, Arithusa. The correct answer is Boundary two. Yes. So, guys, hope you understood the periodicals, magazines, and journals that we have discussed in today's session. And if you have any doubts or queries, you can post it in the comment section. So, till we see in the next video, stay tuned, guys.